hi guys you're welcome back to our channel so today we're going to be learning how to make some very easy and delicious chicken curry sauce you guys and without wasting your time let's get straight into business okay so we're going to be needing some chicken for this recipe we are using the chicken breast for this particular recipe you can use any type of chicken parts that you have you can use the chicken laps you can use the chicken wings just make sure you use whatever parts you have or whatever parts that you prefer okay so now i'm going to cut this chicken breast into some smaller sizes okay so if you're using the chicken wings for instance you might just maybe cut into two or three places but since we are using the chicken breast we are just going to cut this into some chunky or bite sizes depending on what you like so now we have a chicken breast in smaller sizes and we are going to now pour this in a bowl okay you guys you guys know that we like to do our things from the scratch okay so i'm going to take this recipe step by step so that you can easily follow this now we are going to marinate with some salt with some seasoning powder we are also going to be marinating with your curry powder okay um the ginger and the garlic powder as well and whatever the right spices that you like or that you prefer i'm also going to be adding some thyme as well okay um, i think at some point i also added some um this is your black pepper by the way you can use the black pepper the white pepper i also mixed it with some ground red pepper okay because we want this curry sauce to be peppery <laughs> this particular one right here is a mixture of the ginger and the garlic powder and you guys as usual the full list of the ingredients plus the measurements will be in the description box below so just make sure you check it and you use it when you want to recreate this recipe so now we're going to just mix this together now just mix mix together and then you're going to set this aside and leave this to marinate you can leave this to marinate overnight if you like you can leave this to marinate for a few hours for an hour depending on how much time that you have now we are going to prep our other ingredients starting with the peppers we're using the red bell pepper the green bell pepper and the yellow bell pepper you can get this mixed peppers from any supermarket then big stores shop right and co they will always have it okay so just get them and we're going to start by chopping this into smaller sizes let me show you guys how to properly cut your red pepper can you guys see what i'm doing you're going to cut off the, the top and the bottom of the peppers you're going to cut it open to remove the seeds okay so just take out the seeds gently and neatly yes yeah, so you have to just set that aside and now to our peppers we're going to just cut this into some medium size slabs depending on the size that you want but this is the size that we are going for just in the middle not too big and not too small in either i'm basically just trying to match the size of the peppers with the size of the chicken breast so that everything can rhyme they can go together <laughs> but you guys feel free to cut this into any shape that you want So now we have our red bell pepper we are also going to be doing the same for the green bell pepper remove the seeds cut into your medium size slabs also do that for the yellow bell pepper as well now we move to the carrot get your carrots from any local market around you um, we are using about two to three medium size um, pieces okay so we're going to just slice the top and the bottom then you're going to scrape it with your knife so that any nyama nyama on the body can go away we want our carrots to be looking very fresh and clean so just scrape it off with your knife it should look like this yep it should look like this and then you're going to either use your knife to cut this or get a crinkle cutter this one is very cheap you can get this one from any market i think this is about 200 naira or so um it has like a slicer at the edge and then this other part is like a crinkle cutter okay so this is optional 
if you don't have this crinkle cutter it, you don't have to use it it's just to make the carrots look a certain way like just to give it another style actually so you can use your knife to as well as well just slice this into the same size okay so now of course don't forget your onions as well i also chopped my onions behind the scenes so these are our veggies the red the green pepper the carrot and all so now we are going to start cooking in your pot you're going to um, pour in some vegetable oil okay not too much now you're going to add some onions okay and then you're going to drop in your marinated chicken i actually left this to marinate for about um one hour okay and this is about half a kilo of chicken breast so you're going to just drop this in and you're going to mix this together like fry this together like fry the chicken breast till it is no longer looking pink it is looking white <laughs> If that is making sense, just fry till it is well cooked, okay? So just stir together, keep stirring together till your chicken breast is no longer raw, okay? So while our chicken breast is still frying, we are going to set this aside and quickly mix our thickening agent. Okay, <laughs> what we're going to use to thicken the sauce, you're going to get some water. This is about a cup of water and you're going to get what they call corn flour. You can get this from any supermarket. You can also use your regular flour, but your corn flour is just better because it's more suitable for stir fries for soup and for thickening um sauces like this okay so i think a pack of this is around 300 to 400 naira just ask from your local supermarket tell them you want to buy corn flour it comes in a container like this in different brand so in your water you're going to add in about one to two tablespoons of the corn flour i are going to just mix together till there is no lump so make sure you don't skip this step make sure you dilute mix the corn flour with water because if you sprinkle the corn flour in your sauce like that it's going to come out lumpy we don't want that okay so you're going to just mix this in water and can you guys see that it's well mixed and you're going to set that aside and let's get back to our cooking okay so this is our pan our pot of fried chicken this is looking so juicy already you guys i had to hold myself from testing it because i know that when i start with this chicken like this eh, 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 my body will not rest until i finish everything so i just had to hold myself so you're going to just there can you guys see that it's already starting to brown um on like some already starting to brown so at this point you're going to now add your water okay i added about one to two cups of water okay you're going to just add some water mix together mix mix together our chicken curry sauce is almost ready you guys by the time you are done with this recipe eh? <laughs> let's continue cooking okay so in another pan i placed it on medium heat medium to low heat you're going to sprinkle some oil and now we are going to saute our our veggies okay i like to do this separately some people just um add everything in that pot at the same time but i just feel like um frying this separately would make your curry sauce more delicious so i added some onions i also added some curry and some thyme because this is called curry sauce please be generous with the curry okay <laughs> so mix this together and you guys the aroma that these three ingredients bring is amazing the curry the thyme and the onions mixed together in the same pan your neighbors will know that something is definitely cooking in your house so don't miss this step okay so now we are going to pour in our mixed peppers the red and the green pepper and of course our onions and let's not forget our yellow pepper if you are if you are using which is of course optional depending on the um type of peppers that you have access to okay so some people can use just the red and the green without the yellow depending on what you have i also lightly season with your salt your seasoning powder just a little um your one over two teaspoon of your seasoning is okay just mix together mix mix together remember we already added some curry as well and you're going to stir fry this for about three to four five minutes not too long so that the veggies can still be crunchy or at least still be firm when we mix with the other 
ingredients so now in our pot of boiling chicken stock you're going to pour in the veggies remember i said that this particular step of stir frying your veggies is almost optional because some people don't some people prefer to just pour in the veggies like directly in the pot without stir frying but i like to stir fry my veggies before pouring it in just to give the veggies its own sweetness and to just make your curry sauce to be like more delicious <laughs> so you can as well just keep that you can as well just add the veggies in directly depending on what you want to do so i also added some water and a little bit of salt and seasoning as well just a little bit okay not too much all right so we're going to mix this together remember we added water so we need to just add a little bit of seasoning so that um, it won't be bland like completely bland okay so we cover these for about um, seven to eight minutes and now at this point you guys you make sure you don't overcook we are going to now introduce our slurry our corn flour and water slurry remember the one we mixed earlier so you're going to just introduce this in this is going to thicken your sauce depending on how you like your sauce if you want your sauce to be very very watery also um, make sure you had more water if you want it to be very very thick make sure you had more corn flour i like my sauce like this not too thick um and almost watery actually <laughs> and the cooler it gets the thicker it becomes so just make sure you do this to your preference so yeah our curry sauce is ready you guys it is that easy like it is so easy to make if you got to this point thank you so much i like to know where you're watching this from so drop a comment in the comment section telling us where you're watching this from i like to properly say thank you and today's shout out is going out to zima hayes thank you so much for dropping the comments in our previous post if you want to get a shout out make sure you drop a comment under this post okay and if this is your first time on this channel what are you waiting for please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that when i post new recipes you'll be the first person to see it okay so now we've served our curry sauce with some rice with some hot rice and we are ready to enjoy this make sure you try this recipe and let me know what you think thank you so much guys for watching bye guys